Hey guys, what's up? My name is Manny and this is Recreational420 and today we're going to be talking about how to avoid getting shut down on social media. So the number one thing, and I'm going to go through a list of things and I'm going to go through them in kind of the order of importance that I think they, they kind of fall under. Um, because everything I am going to tell you is more or less a guideline. We see people every single day. Where, I'm going to say some things um, here that you're like, wait a minute. I see people on a platform who do this. Like, how come they're not being deleted? And here's the thing. At the end of the day, um, social media and any pl one platform is really just this giant brain of like stuff, right? You, I, at least this is the way I think of it. It's a giant brain of stuff. And so us uploading, we're uploading and feeding this brain a bunch of information with our posts and our pictures and our data. Um, and so this brain has to go through and it's, it, it's, it's been taught how to think, how to, how to say what's good, what's bad, what goes, what doesn't. Um, and so it, as a machine, it can't get everything. And there's no way that like with the volume of uploads that there is, that everybody gets caught or everything happens to everybody. Um, so just keep that in mind. These are a guideline of how I've kind of done things over the last year and how I've managed to not have a single account to get deleted. Um, where I have had a video uh, removed, I had it re-put or, you know, listed back on my page because of a handful of things that I had done and I knew I'd done before. Um, I And just simple things like that. So uh, two things, I, I don't declare myself an expert in this field. Um, I think anybody who declares themselves an expert in this kind of thing right now is kind of lying to themselves or is lying to you. Uh, and the reason being, every single time there's a new algorithm change in any one of the platforms, we're all brand new. It doesn't matter what you knew last year. If they change things around this year, we're all learning the same stuff. And uh, that's one thing I've learned throughout the years of like doing this kind of stuff. So just just something to keep in mind. And I want to make sure I put that out there before I give you guys all this info. Um, and, and I, you know. I don't know. I don't want to come off like that guy. <laughs> um, I just want to help you guys out and I'll give you guys a little bit of tips or a, a few tips on, like I said, uh, things that have helped me out and kept me from being deleted. So uh, the number one thing that I think really keeps people um, or gets people deleted is going to be the sale. Uh, the promotion, the sale, or consumption of cannabis is federally illegal. With these platforms being statewide, worldwide corporations at this point, um, you're talking, it's, it's, it's a whole lot easier for them to just go, we're going to go off of federal law, so you have to follow federal law when you're on our platforms. Um, the reason being is, it, think about it as being, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whoever you want to talk about. Um, you're asking them it, to basically go and create little sections where it's like okay well if we have an ad or something gets posted in washington that has to be allowed if it gets posted in nevada oregon california that's allowed but if it gets posted in georgia oh uh, that's not really allowed unless it gets posted in atlanta because atlanta has kind of legalized a little bit and you kind of see where it's too much to kind of like manage everything so they just say boom we're going federal and that's what it is so through that you kind of have to work your yourself around that maze um, and so things like discounts, sale prices, uh, links to CBD sites. This one, that one is a very, I'd, I'd have to guess, and, and this one's a guess. So on YouTube uh, over the last week, there's been a little bit of like, uh, over the last couple weeks actually, <laughs> there's been a little bit of like a weed tuber like, you know, scare because so many accounts have been getting flagged. I'm one of them, I had one of my videos flagged, not my account, but just my video. Um, and so I, I, I know there's one guy, uh, his name is Maddie Mathis or Maddie something. I don't remember the last name and I'm terrible with names. Um, but he was one of the bigger YouTubers. He had 133 or 100 and some thousand subscribers on the, on the site. Um, and so I was trying to figure out, I was like, what did he do? What did he do? What the did he do to get himself deleted and then finally he made a post on instagram talking about youtube the reason youtube gave him for terminating his channel and preventing his ip address from opening up another one meaning he's done <laughs> he has to go get a new laptop sign up somewhere else and then you know do a whole process 
um, in order to get back on. And the reason was he said two CBD posts. Now, I don't know all of the details and I'm just kind of pulling this out of, you know, out of the air. I'm going to guess that it wasn't just the post about CBD, but there might have been a link directing people to go to a site where they might be able to purchase CBD. And with CBD being a derivative of cannabis and federal law and yada yada, you get the point. So we all kind of like, you have to take the time to learn these things. It took me months. I took a long time before I ever even put up a video because I was like, okay, I can't create something that just is going to flag me every single time. So at this point, you're probably asking, well, if I'm a retail shop and like the, pro the purpose of my business is to sell cannabis, then what kind of options am I left with? And I don't, I don't want to leave you guys high and dry. I want to give you guys a little bit of, you know, a little bit of help. Um, so the thing you have to do is you have to learn to be creative. Um, instead of saying, you know, come in today for 20%, blah, 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 just come in today and see us. Um, you know, meet so-and-so when you have a vendor date. Don't talk about the percentages. Don't talk about the discounts. Don't do any of that until you have the body in the store. Um, the other thing is you could say something as simple as like, hey, come take a selfie with one of our blah, blah, blah. Like you have to learn to make a connection with your customer. Um, and through that connection, they're, they're more willing to come in to your shop because you have a connection, you're friendly, you get to know them, you, you know, over time, you figure out what their tastes are to where they can come in, you know, they walk in and, hey, Tom, how you doing, buddy? Like, uh, let's go straight over here to this aisle or this area where I know you always go to. Um, here's the stuff that you typically like and here's some of the new stuff that kind of matches your taste. And so you really learn to create this like relationship and you get this closeness and this kind of bond that like most brands don't get to have and you're kind of forced into a situation where you have to create those bonds because that's the only way you have to advertise right now your hands are basically tied otherwise the other thing that i want to talk about is uh the number two thing or the second thing i guess <laughs> the second thing that i would say is a big big factor is going to be the terms of service so every single platform has different terms of service um and and you have to learn to read through those and kind of decipher what they mean for you um, for example uh, the consumption of cannabis is usually a no-go uh, if you are a brand um, somebody who grows and sells like you know you're, you're, you're a Bodhi high you're a, any of those bigger brands um, those kind of people or a retailer I would say you guys shouldn't really ever show the consumption of cannabis on your platforms or on your pages um, you yourselves, I, I, maybe a repost from somebody because then you can say, I didn't post it. I was just reposting it because they did. And that might be able to get you off the hook. Um, but even then, you, you're kind of playing with fire if you, if you go that route. Um, just because they can, you know, somebody comes in and, and just doesn't like cannabis. They go, boom, report. That happens. You instantly get a trigger. Uh, Instagram has to go through then and go through or Instagram, Facebook, whatever platform goes through the rest of your stuff and really sees what kind of page you are. And if you have multiple things where all you're doing is just giant dabs and doing, you know, all this stuff, then there's a good chance that you end up getting deleted because all you're doing is promoting the, the consumption of or the overconsumption or whatever they want to use as the excuse. Um, the thing is, you're on their platforms, you have to follow their rules. So again, you just have to learn to kind of like walk around the fine print. But let me talk to you guys about why those two things are important and how, you know, knowing terms of service and paying attention to what, what what's allowed on a platform can really save your ass at the end of the day. Um, for me, I, I can give you the example of uh, I personally had my biggest video on YouTube. It currently has like 100 and, you know, 14, 115,000 views. Um, but it was deleted about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And I went into a panic. I was like, holy crap, how am I going to like fix this, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, slow down. You know the rules on YouTube and you know that A, I never smoked on camera. I never, you know, I didn't talk about where I got anything. I didn't talk about sales. I just showed a process on how to make something. And so I explained that to YouTube and two days later, boom, my videos reinstated. I don't have a strike on my channel. 
And the only thing that happened was my video got age restricted, which just means people have to say like, hey, I, I understand that this video is for people over the age of 18, yada, yada. Um, and I, now I'm thinking I'm gonna do that to my entire channel um, just to avoid this kind of problem in the future. Um, but that's just like my personal experience. If, if I hadn't taken the time to know that like YouTube doesn't like it when you smoke on camera, um, that's that's one of those things that I learned a long long time ago when I used to like promote hip-hop and stuff like that um, we would run ads on YouTube and every single time you had somebody smoking in the video boom it got denied boom it gets denied boom it gets denied so just through t trial and error I've kind of learned a lot of this stuff so as too. you can see from my own experience if I hadn't taken the time to know the rules know the terms of service and really followed them as much as I possibly could there's a very good chance that my biggest video would have been deleted and there's an even bigger chance and so more of my stuff would have gone with it. So because I did do those things, I've been able to do things that other companies or other cannabis based blogs or whatever you want to call it um, can't do. I've been able to run targeted ads on Facebook. I've been able to run targeted ads on YouTube to a tour of a cannabis like place. Like there's ways and there's things there. There's so many ways and things you can do to grow your page and get your influence up. Um, but I feel like everybody right now in cannabis feels like their hands are tied because they're always afraid of being deleted. And I just kind of hope this helps. Um, like I said, if, if I am going to be offering, or I don't know if I said this yet, <laughs> I'm going to be offering a social media consulting service where I go and I break down all of these rules, regulations. I kind of help you create a strategy that'll really emphasize what you do and what makes you stand apart. Because right now, there's a whole lot of Munchy Mondays, Fat Tuesdays, Wacky, well, you know, Wax Wednesdays. Everybody's kind of got the same deals and the same thing, and it's working for now. But as the market develops, I really don't think that's going to be something that you're going to be able to continue to do and kind of get away with the way we have been now. Uh, with all that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You learned something. If you did, or if you have any more questions, feel free to leave it down in the description or in the comment section. Sorry about that. <laughs> this has uh, been Recreational 420, and I'll be back again with you guys soon.